Uh, hey YouTube, this is Matthew Morgan. About to teach you a little something today is called prayer can be used for good and evil. Prayer can be used for both good and evil. Now, let me explain to you what I mean. You know how the church teaches you that witchcraft and voodoo and black magic is bad? Well, all depends on how you use it. If you use it to bless someone, cool. If you don't, that's when it's bad. Like anything else in life, if it corrupts you and makes you do wrong, that's when it's bad. As far as voodoo and witchcraft being bad, people made it bad. But prayer is pretty much the same thing. Prayer is just you speaking to a spirit, asking it to do a certain thing, and hoping that it happens. Now, here's a little deepness people don't know. You don't have to actually put two hands together or put your head on them and then ask for something. Your words create stuff. So, say for example, you're in a good mood. You want something good to happen for somebody like God. Please let this happen for this person. They really deserve it. And you speak the situation into existence. Yet a law of attraction. Or you focus on it long enough and it happens. But you can't break your focus. Because then it'll get messed up. Prayer works the same way. Like if you speak evil. Like man I hope that person gets this. Like you say it in a nice way. It might nicely happen. You say it in an evil way. It'll happen evil like angels hear you demons hear you god hear you satan hear you here's the sad part prayer can be used to hurt your life or help it basically say for example you got family members in the church if they love you they can pray for you and help your life be made better now if you're one of them family members they ain't too fond of they can either speak evil against you or pray it on you. Let me say it again. They can either, they can either sp speak evil on you or pray it on you. Basically, pray to a demon or the devil or to Jesus, but Jesus is never going to answer a prayer. Jesus is never going to answer a prayer that has to do with harming somebody. The only prayers that the Heavenly Father answers are those that help you prosper and help you feel better and help you make it through life safe and sound. And blessing you with stuff to make sure your life is made better. Jesus don't answer wicked and evil prayers. And here's a, here's a little deep dark secret. If you ever do have something bad happen to you and someone tells you it's God punishing you, no, it's not. That might have been someone praying against you and, ask, <clears throat> and asking God to do something to you, which he would never do it unless it's good. Or they might be praying to God, but then the devil might answer and strike you down with some horrible stuff. Then they'll tell you God's punishing you, which ain't true they just prayed evil against you and yeah people in the church do this they prayed evil against you then they gonna say God punished you no he didn't they prayed for your downfall and it happened God just wasn't responsible neither was Jesus the demons in hell the demons in hell are usually who's always responsible for that happening because any evil prayers that go up to God smacks them away they go up to jesus jesus smacks them out of sight he don't prayers like that he don't want around him because he knows demons are following that he, he he wants nothing to do with a person's downfall so just so you know that so if someone in the church tells you god's punishing you somehow those people in church might be the same people praying that you fail in life because you didn't listen to him or because you don't go to church or because you're not saved. I mean, people in the world can do the same thing. The praying down on people think ain't just church. It's pretty much anyone that's angry at you or mad at you about something. 
Like people can pray for your uplifting, your upbringing. People can pray for you to be successful in life. For God to bless you with stuff. People can also pray that you fell in life, you never succeed, and you never get anywhere. It works both ways. So people in the world can pray for your downfall, so can people in the church. People in the world can pray that you do better in life, so can people in the church. It works both ways. <sighs> Nothing else I want to say. Um. Mm. Yeah. Ugh.